Well, what's up? I'm Colin Deaver, live from the Sun Bowl with KTSM 9 Sports at 10. It's a day we weren't sure if we were ever going to see football at the Sun Bowl in 2020, but we made it here. UTEP, one of 76 teams in FBS football around the nation playing this fall. They're one of just six games on the schedule this afternoon in college football on this Saturday. UTEP playing host to Stephen F. Austin. It was supposed to be Texas Tech because of the pandemic. They had to cancel, so it was Stephen F. Austin at the the Sun Bowl for UTEP's home opener. Let's roll the footage. Let's show you how it happened out here at the Sun Bowl on this night. All right. So as we told you earlier in the show, fans socially distanced around the Sun Bowl, all of them, of course, wearing masks. And then here's UTEP coming out of the tunnel the first time in 2020. You've seen social justice movements all around the nation in sports this uh, last couple of weeks. UTEP and Stephen F. Austin taking a knee for Stephen F. Austin's first uh, kickoff of the game. First drive for the Lumberjacks. It's Trey Self to Lawton Reichel for the touchdown. He would lose his footing a little bit, but hey, the score is good nonetheless. 14-3. Stephen F. Austin led at one point in the second quarter, but here we go. Second quarter, Gavin Hardison on third down. Going to find one of his top targets, Justin Garrett. Big play from him. He made a few of those, as did uh, Jacob Cowing throughout the night as the Miners get as close as 14-10. to 10. Next, SFA possession. It's Self rolling out and he fumbles it away. Justin Prince going to pick it up. The very nice return coming up right here for the Miners as uh, they get the ball back, and that would set up this. The local hero, El Paso's all-time leading rusher at the high school level, Dion Hankins from Parkland, running over guys for the touchdown. The Miners would fight back. They led this one 17-14 to at the half. There was no scoring in the third quarter as UTEP held on to it for quite a while. Fourth quarter, it's still 17-14. Self dropping back to pass. Looks to like he might have his man, but instead it is picked off by UTEP's Durant. On low, obviously a huge play right there as the Miners get the turnover that they so desperately needed, and then they would turn it into points, capitalizing. A few plays later, Hankins coming in from four yards out on the direct snap. His second touchdown of the night. He had a big night, 113 yards on the ground, as well as two touchdowns in his first major action for UTEP as the Miners win it 24-14. to Back-to-back -back years, they've won their season over. First time that's happened since 2010 and 2011. Here is Dana Dimmel after the game with more. What a, you know, great, lots of learning stuff for us tonight in that game. Just a ton of learning tools for our football team, you know, falling behind like we did and hanging in there and just staying with the fight. And it didn't change the way we played. We still played with the same intensity and the same fire uh, that we started the game with. Yeah, UTEP, as I said, winning for the first time in back-to-back -back seasons in their home opener, in their season over, excuse me, since 2010 and 2011. Let's go ahead, quick look at the numbers in UTEP's 24-14 to victory. Gavin Hardison, his first start of the season for the Miners. He was named starting quarterback earlier this fall. 17-28, 212 yards, a touchdown and an interception. But again, the big star of this one, Deion Hankins, 17 carries, 113 yards and two touchdowns. He is El Paso's all-time leading rusher at the high school level fan. Certainly going to love to see that from the hometown hero. Next up for the Miners, they will play at Texas uh, next Saturday at 6 p.m. We'll get you ready for that one as we go forward throughout the week.